The world is a global village. And that's because information travels beyond boundaries. And on this morning on ITV, we guarantee unbiased analysis on topical issues. That will educate you. Entertain you. So join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Every Sunday to Thursday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. on your ultimate news and current affairs program on television this morning on ITV TMR. Join us. All right, thank you so much for being there one more time on the program this morning on ITV on independent television. And uh, you know that it was on Sunday that uh, uh, federal universities in Nigeria and also uh, some state, uh, state universities too uh, keyed into the ongoing ASA strike. And as we speak now, we understand about, uh, that about 40 federal universities and 44 uh, state universities are on strike. Now, the implication of this is that once you have strike, then, of course, the students are pulled back. Uh, to discuss this today, we are privileged to have the chairman of uh, ASU Uniben chapter, uh, Professor Austin uh, Eyasele. You Julius Eyasele, not yeah. Austin now. Julius Eyasele, you're welcome to the program this morning. Uh, thank you, uh, moderator, for having me. Yeah. And, uh, bless you, my good uh, viewers. Okay, and also, we're also privileged to have uh, Mr. Should I say Mr. Or comrade now? Uh, Mr. Kadiri Aruna. Is the uh, NASA president. You're welcome to this program this morning on ITV. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, Good Professor, morning. so what is the issue again this time? <laughs> it's not up to two years we discussed this strike issue yeah. you know, on this uh, same platform. Yeah. Uh, so you are back again. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that we have people in government who are deaf and dumb. No, let, no, all, no, 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 we yeah, no, no, we can't. I'm sorry, no, 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 okay, no, we have, we have, okay, we, we, not we, people, okay, we, we, we have go government that is dead. No, 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 we, no, we cannot even say that, Professor. Uh, but when somebody no, is no, not no, hearing, no, 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 I'm when somebody is not hearing, no, sorry, I'm, sir, I, I, uh, Evans, no, no, please, can, can, when somebody can, is not hearing and somebody is not uh, seeing and then uh, it's not listening, no, what place can, you, can, can we, can we take that back? Okay, thank you, I'll take it back. All right, all right, so what is the issue now? The issues, why I use that word initially no, is that you can't refer that, to that no, word. I, know, what I, did, I wanted to <laughs> allude to why, but I've taken it back. I'm not using it again. Okay. The matter is this that you, this is the same issue, it's the same. So when, when you said again, you it, 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 it would have meant that there are different issues that the union. Is positive. Which issue before. are we talking about now? Because yeah. I, I know okay. uh, yesterday, Wait, let, me tell you let, me, let me tell you something. Yeah. Uh, you know, yesterday, um, it was actually my GM television, uh, that where the woman said that um, actually took my mind back. You know, because I was saying that right from 1999, that's when ASU Strike, I can remember ASU Strike. And he told me that no, even before 1999, even in the military era, era there was ASU Strike. So is it that it has always been that uh, same issue? Yes, you see, as, no, that is the, 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 the very correct position. Because you are aware, if you went to school around this period, that the system had never run well, that facilities had never been there. You are aware that in the first 500 universities in the world, you cannot find one Nigerian university. And even if you come down to Africa, that even a university in, in, in Uganda, is ahead of universities in Nigeria. And so what are we, what, the, what evidence do you need again from that time? But however, the issues automatically, you know, under the military regime, of course, they were cramping our people into jail and all that. But under a democratic setting, people thought that people, this, our new set of administrators would bring democracy to bear. Mm. But what are we seeing here? Okay, this issue started in 2001, and by 2006, <coughs> of, uh, eventually, government agreed to not come negotiate with the union. The negotiation took three years. People traveling almost every week on the Nigerian road to meet government in their place. And of course, if you remember, let Gamalia on us today of blessed memory will not be happy in the grave today. That he led a government team. That government saw him as an honorable man to be able to lead a crop of people to a negotiating table. And after three years, solid years of negotiation, then they put hands to paper. 
in terms of an agreement. This agreement till today is not been attended to. It's not anything new issue. It's not as if I see saying, okay, that Nigerian Naira has torpedoed, have been devalued, that that you agreement we called them, that amount of money you gave for revitalization of educational sector, the amount of money you gave for end allowance, for the oversized function, let me put it that way, that the university lecturers are carrying out. That is not enough. No, we have not said that the money has been devalued. No lecturer had cried out to say that the money, the salary had been devalued. He still saying the same thing then documented that you need to, to attend to them. You agreed after a series of negotiations. But yet, as we still speak, in November here, we want on a warning strike. We told government, look, oh, this, you know, there are instruments available to you as a person for collective bargaining with an employer. Or, if you want to fight war, the place to go to is the university. If you need to improve your market, the place to go to is the university. If you need your company to run well, you need the society to move well, the place to go to call out idea is the university. And so, we have tried all modes of collective bargaining. None. And of course, the only option that is left, which it appears as if our democratic leaders are just military men in Abada, Okay, now let me pause you so that I can also bring uh, uh, Mr. Kadiri Aruna into uh, this discussion uh, because he represents, uh, you know, also an interest, something about the body of the Nigerian students. Now, uh, Mr. Kadiri, uh, how are you people complying? Are you complying or you are, re you are reacting to uh, this strike? Um, thank you very much. Um, I would start by saying it is unfortunate mm -hmm. that we are here once again talk about ASU strike. ASU strike has become a recurring uh, decimal, yeah. and it is unfortunate. As Nigerian students, we are not totally against ASU strike. But what we are saying is ASU should also be considered, knowing that the resultant effect of this whole thing negatively falls on on you guys, yeah. We are the receiving end. Yeah. We are also calling on the federal government and state government to be responsible enough to reach an agreement, to keep to an agreement that has been reached since 2013. This one is 2009 now. Yeah. From 2009 to 2013 and all of that. Yeah. All of this agreement hasn't been reached. Now, ASU has come up again to say we are going on, on strike. It's on, on strike. Yeah. Only God knows how long this will, will, will take. I was on phone with the national chairman yesterday. We're trying to, 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 to have a meeting with, with, with ASU to appeal to them. Because we can only appeal to ASU to make them understand that, fortunately, their children are in the universities also. To make them understand that when you are entering a, 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 a university for a four year course, six year course, as the case may be, mm -hmm. you already have a projection on how you want to live your life. Unfortunately, it's no longer so. We are in support of ASU because all of their demands is to the betterment of the society. If our educational sector, if our campuses are not well equipped, I wonder the graduates that will come out from the campuses. It will shock you to know that if you can afford it, some people run to us close to Ghana to afford education. And if you look, look at the schools some people claim they are, they are going to outside Nigeria, you'll find out that it's not short of one story building that they call school. But in the ranking of universities in the world, those one uh, 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 story building uh, uh, school is being ranked higher than Nigerian universities because Nigerian universities is poorly funded. One of the agitations of ASU is that government should reach 26% budgetary allocation. Mm. That government has never gone close to. That is UNESCO's benchmark so many years ago. And I want to believe 
that if UNESCO comes back to give a benchmark to budgetary allocation to education, considering the circumstances, it will go far above 26%. Yet, we have not gotten close to 26%. Above all of this, we are calling on ASU, and we are calling on federal government to sit down with ASU. A meeting was held yesterday. Yeah. To sit down with ASU to find a lasting solution so that after one year, the new crop of leadership will not come and sit on this chair to talk about ASU strike. Okay. It is unfortunate, and I think it's high time. ASU also. Now, Ambassador, President, uh, Ambassador introduced no work, no pay in order to break down the powers of ASU. I want to believe ASU, they are more intelligent than, 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 than the government. ASU, since before I was born, have been going and backing on strike, strike, strike. And if you ask me, it has not yielded the desired result. ASU, as a body, as our lecturers, should go into research to find a lasting solution on how to hold government to come to tables okay. and to fulfill Let me pause you. That's a challenge for Professor Yasele uh, here this morning. Now, uh, the meeting that uh, was uh, held yesterday, we understand that uh, there was a kind of an agreement that was reached whereby uh, about uh, the forensic audit of about 30 billion naira earlier given to us in 2010 and further agreed on monthly remittance to us while uh, the audit last. And also, uh, we understand that um, uh, the Honorable Minister of, of Labor, Chris Ngi, promised, I think there was something that said that they said that, uh, that the federal government owes us about uh, 800 something billion naira. Now, the, right, it's 888 billion naira. Now, the budgetary allocation for education this year is about, about 300 and something billion. Four percent. 300 and something billion. So there's I a deficit. Four percent of the total. Well, so there's a deficit of about 400 and something billion naira. Now, uh, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, going by that meeting yesterday, since uh, the federal government promised that they were going to look into that. Now, Professor Yasele, don't you think that uh, uh, the federal government is coming out already? Promises are good. Promises are good. Yes, I, uh, let, let me congratulate or thank the NANS president yeah. sitting by me here uh, for at least having some level of sympathy for, for us. For all the strike, even after Professor Festus Iyayi died, in the course of negotiation, this same thing, this negotiation, that agreement had been procured by blood. After he died, an MOU was, was signed with federal government. And also, all at each of the meetings had always agreed. And government would say, we are going to do X, Y, Z. In November, here I'm just talking about November. But don't you think between that November you... and as we are reading five different letters to government? Yeah, but don't you none think... was responded. Yeah, to. Professor, don't you yeah. think that ASU may not have also been proactive enough? I mean, uh, this agreement we're talking about now was reached in 2009. Yes, uh, this government was not even in power then. Correct. And I think that's the reason why uh, that um, if you go through uh, some of the papers today, you saw you see where the uh, the media uh, senior special assistant to the president, uh, Gabashe, who said that uh, this strike is unnecessary uh, be because this agreement was not reached with this uh, government. Excuse so, me. So uh, at times, is that at the times, country you want to have? Yeah, but, but at times, is I that the country you want to have? Then they, we should not we should not play the roads that were built by other governments in the past. We, you should build. They should build their own road. The question they is should that, build their own rail line. Yeah, the question they should I'm provide asking, their own electricity. Yeah, Professor, the question I'm asking yes. is that don't you think that ASU, uh, if there's a way they can, because it looks as if that way? It looks as if that government is playing politics now. I want now. people. Because yeah, you are saying that they are you are nine. They were talking about that was not reached with this government, oh, what, uh, so they cannot. They may not be responsive. Excuse enough. me. You know, so, so are there no excuse ways? Excuse me. Yeah. Government is a continuum. That's correct. Yes, there's no way you are set assets and liabilities as you take over leadership. So there's no way anybody will come and tell us. These same persons who are saying that was even reached by the... We are members of the other government. Can, let, them, let them say, okay, can, will you, you tell me it was not part of the previous government? Will any of these persons at the corridors of power? He was say not, they were, he was they were not out there. He was is not it the change there. in name? He was not a minister there. No, is it the change? Okay, so but there it was something. Is it because of the change of change in name? 
Lord, you see, what we are saying now is that it is time for the public to be sensitized. It's time for the public to take destiny in their hands. It is time for Nigerians to say enough is enough. This thing, all that is waiting on this country, the, 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 the perversions and whatever that is going on in this country is enough. It is time for even the market women to come out to the road. It's our children that are in the university. Government, except you do X, Y, Z, we cannot continue. This country cannot continue. This no, cannot happen country, with country will continue. It cannot happen <laughs> in some other, it can happen in some other in other time. Nigerians have been persevered enough. To the extent now we are becoming docile. It's too much. It's just too much that people are only it is now when it concerns them. It's just that what they are looking at now is pride. It's not as if they are looking at uh, education. Though. It's not because of education. Because they are, they are the ones in government. How does it affect their next election? How does it affect their pride they are looking at? They are not sitting down to say, okay, let's really look at it. Will this uh, affect education? Will it improve Nigerian university ratings and all of that? That's all I'm saying. Everybody at, at, at all strike will return back to the table to appeal, want to beg Asu to return back, and yet the TK continues. Tomorrow you will hear that this problem is perpetrated by the lecturer and all of that. What moral justification do you now have? Now, if I'm telling you indirectly, this government wants universities to charge, go and charge school fees. They will tell you tuition is free. But go and check the other charges. They want. Recently, we have to go around the university to find out what is actually happening in all those other universities, that Unibet. And we discover that for a student to check even results in some universities, the student will pay. And all of that. If you go to find out what the charges are there, monumental. I know that. Yeah, but that doesn't and mean that some of these schools at times that they don't make money on their own. No, they yes, that. We, 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 that the 8 we, million we, 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 that the 8 million naira is spent by Unibe every month for only electricity. 38 million naira alone. How much is a university that is not set up for, for business purposes, for profit making? How much are they going to make? I'm telling you, what about, the profits, electricity now? what about the profits, uh, you know, engagement that some of these private schools go into at times? What? I don't know, the profit engagement, like Uniben has uh, the pure water making, uh, you know, factory. Yes. You have uh, people that stay around, do business and all that, they pay to the school authorities. That is what I'm telling you now. Making money from that is what I'm telling you. Yeah. It is from all of that. that they me, even wage bill, if, if ordinary wage bill can be affected, the University of Benin says we are six or seven thousand uh, uh, seven thousand uh, uh, worker strength, mm. and then you bring money for half of the strength. Three hundred and forty-three staff since January have not been paid salaries, and the university goes out to look for a way to pay, and then they are owing those people. The university staff school, the university staff school is supposed to be funded by government. Mm. It's supposed to be a demonstration arm for a uh, faculty of education. What pains us is that some other MDAs, or uh, MDAs that appears to be the toast of government, they fund, they even pay those children in those schools. In so many of the school, other schools, owned by some uh, choice MDAs, they pay the pupils in those schools. Whereas, in a university, where their business is education, where you are supposed to demonstrate and look for the best standard on how a child should be taught, those schools, they are saying they are hands off. And this is part of the agreement we went into in 2009 with them. Even a sister uh, union went to court and defeated the, uh, the federal government in court. As I speak to you now, for over six months that that uh, agreement was Oh, I mean, uh, that uh, decision, or uh, that is court decision was given. Mm. Till now, nothing has been done. Okay. Government now, says that they are inter interpreting the law. Okay, now, uh, uh, Mr. Kadiri, you see, this period now is probably the period whereby uh, some students 
uh, you know, they tend to go astray. Uh, so how does the NANs, uh, you know, how do they make sure that uh, they try to keep some of your students in check so that uh, whenever the strike will last, so that they don't miss, miss, miss the point? Uh, first and foremost, let me, let me react to Gabashio's statement. Mm. To be honest to you, it is irresponsible. Government, like Prof said, is a continuum. What is irresponsible? Now? The statement from Gabashio is irresponsible. No, is that, uh, that's your own opinion anyway? That's the way it's government, <laughs> government is a continuum. You can't tell us that the agreement reached in 2009 and 2013 that they were not in government then. Government is a continuum. No, he, he said, no, no, Gabashio said, he said this strike is unnecessary. Uh, because the, the, the agreement we are talking about now was reached in 2009. This government started in 2004. Well, in November last That's year. That's my point. What about November last year? We're not on the table with Asu. That's my point. In November. Government inherited both assets and liability of previous, of, of pre, uh, previous governments. Now, where yeah, I blame the Asu, like you rightly said, I think Asu, they are still not proactive enough. Because when this new government came on board, aside writing of letters to this new government, there should have been other means. To sit this government on, on, on the table, to say this is the agreement that has been on board by the previous government, in mm. case you are claiming uh, uh, not knowing about it. Mm. This is the agreement that, that has been reached. Let us hear from the government the reply they will give to ASU. Most times, government call ASU to, on, 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 uh, to, to, to the round table and tell ASU to go and look inward. And when they tell ASU to go and look inward, the next thing what ASU looks into is to, is to increase tuition fee, is to, is to, is to cut corners okay. and uh, exploit students. Okay. And that is unfortunate. Mm. If you want to look inward, in our universities, in our campuses, Kogi State, for example, if you look at the cashew notes they have in Kogi State, in, the in, the, in, 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 in their campuses, if the university utilizes it, and come out with, with, with it productively. They can, they can fund the education in Kogi State without even the government. But once government said, go and look inward, as you look inward by increasing school fees, by, by, by cutting corners and, and, and charging students, you are going to respond to that because that, <laughs> no, I'm going to let you respond to <laughs> yes, that because he, he is a student here. Yeah, but he you are just saying that, that, that Asu is into water factory. Yeah. Even you are the same meat. <laughs> they sell meat. So many universities are into one business venture or the other. Is that yes. the vision? Is that the vision of the university? All right, Professor. Now if they come professor. and tell us, okay, now you have to be trading, carry things to the market. <laughs> that, that is how we will not know. Do you understand? Yes, now. In, this, in, the, in, the, in the primary school in those days, many of us went to farm for our teachers and all that. If that is what they want to bring to beer, yeah. if that is what is obtainable in some other clients, if that is what is happening all over the world, all right, Professor, let it be in Nigeria. Professor, we are, looking at, we, are, we are looking at the proactiveness of ASU. Now, the 2017 budget that uh, we are talking about now, that has told us that uh, the budget allocation is about 800 and something billion. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, federal government has said that uh, they are owing, uh, it's, it's 300 and something billion. Federal government has said that they are owing us to 800 and something billion. So there is a deficit of 700 and something billion. Now, we understand that this same budget was presented before the National Assembly. And of course, the details of the budget somehow, you know, uh, were made to Nigerians. The details, the details of the budget now was made to Nigerians. Now, how come did ASU? Because we're talking about proactiveness. Now, why did ASU not react then? Excuse that me, the budget allocation you are giving for education is not going to be enough. How, how, how come that is not going to be enough? I will say we didn't hear it. Yeah. Yeah. But we didn't hear of it. I was on, I, I, was, I, let me, I was in the sister station. Not so. We're talking about the, the yes, national budget for ASU now. When did, I was in the sister station. So, he is aware that. now, he is aware, the, the NAS president mm. had just mentioned that UNESCO standard is 26%. Is that not the issue? That when I talked about blindness, I talked about deafness and all that, you were not happy with me and all that. Is it, there are standards set by, by people that knows, by the world that knows what it is. You go to countries like Japan and see where systems are running correctly and all that, and find out what, excuse me, if you check our budget, the highest is defense. Why won't it be? Because the minds are not educated. Before somebody will strap gun and bombs around himself and hurts to go and die, that person shows clearly that that mind has not been educated. If that man, you and I, having gone to the four walls of university, 
or have been well tutored even at whatever level. Mm. There's no way that man, knowing what is what, that going to struggle and nothing is what is life, he will not do it. We have said wars are not won on the battlefield. Wars are won on the on the on the table. And who are with the requisite of knowledge on the table? Mm. They are the academics. There is teachers. Those are the people. Do you understand? Yeah. If I ask you any, a simple question now, which profession is the most important in the world? With which profession? Well, I, I'll because say, Nigerians will ask questions with I'll questions. Say, I'll say uh, the teaching profession. Let me say because we, we, if you can read anything, you say thank you to a teacher. Okay. Right, thank you so much. Uh, the program is still much alive here this morning on ITV. And uh, we still have uh, Professor Julius Yasere here with us and also uh, Mr. Kadiri Aruna, who is uh, the NAS president. Now, Professor, let's come back to you. Uh, Kadiri, you know, made an allegation, or he said something earlier on that um, uh, ASU members are responsible for increment of school fees and all that. Now, is that correct? It couldn't be, uh, have been ASU. It's management. The ASU members are different from university management that, is, that increased. Nobody, nobody is paying tuition fees in the university. That's what the executive secretary of NUC said. NUC is the regulatory body for all the universities under Federal Ministry of Education. You notice recently when the issue about charges came up, then NUC took some university vice chancellors and then with the minister, uh, minister of Education, they all went to National Assembly. Now talking to about charges to now, uh, earlier on, I, I said that uh, a friend of mine, you know, he told me that he's doing his PGD in Uniben, that's your school now, that uh, they've been asked to pay uh, to the tune of about 90,000. No, uh, PhD is 90,000. 90,000, some 60,000 MSc, PGD. MSc, no, MSc is, uh, PGD is 35, I'm okay. 30,000. He said for uh, external Examiner. uh, examiners and all that. Now, yeah. I'm just trying to look at it now. Um, yeah. Let's say 100 students, uh, you, know, uh, you know, did PGD for a session. Mm -hmm. Then you ask them to pay uh, 90,000. That's a huge amount of money. Now, no, does PhD. Uniben, does Uniben, Uniben, do they have up to that amount of, uh, you know, external examiners too? Oh, for each PhD student graduating, one external examiner is invited. Like I had said earlier, an external examiner is invited from, in fact, because university is universal, you are supposed to invite somebody from even outside the country. But because of the way we are, now you now you are now you now use uh, maybe professionals from around the country. Mm. When I went to school, we had South African students in University of Ife. I had lecturer Belombe from outside the country. Even my HSE Advanced College degree here. I had a Ghanaian teacher who taught me chemistry. The current universities we have in Nigeria are not universal. They are now becoming local. So because fact, these external examiners come from far and near. That's yes, why. They, that is why they are paid 120,000 naira. You know what the flight is if you are to fly from Abuja or Kaduna. If you are inviting a polymer chemist from Moatek in Yoda, to come examine a, a PhD student in chemistry. Yeah. Now, why He's should going this to be, be pushed to uh, the students? Uh, for that, I mean, that student has paid his school fees. Yeah, yeah that's what they're saying now. Yeah. At that level, mm. the federal government is not responsible for, for, the, for the educational training. At that level, you pay for your training. You are expected to even pay the lecturer. Now, yeah, why would I have thought that the school fees should include this extra? That is what University of Benin did wisely because they know by the time it's added to school fees then school fees are supposed to be paid at a go lump sum mm. you know that by the time you add for instance 90,000 to a PhD student's school fees it's unlikely that anybody in this economic uh, 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 murder that the one person can pay that at a go and so in one way or the other it's like a kind of spread of school fees. Okay. Now, le 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 let me come to Kadiri. Kadiri, we understand that uh, the National Association of Polytechnic uh, Lecturers, they are threatening sympathy strike. So at any moment from now, your counterpart professor in the Polytechnic, they are going to join in this strike. Now, for the student, what's, uh, how should we go? I mean, um, 
Once again, it is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yes, they would as, a, as a, they would join a sympathy strike. It is it is it is accepted. It is accepted. What we are saying as students is, government should come to the table to listen to ASU to see how soon. And I always I always challenge ASU whenever we have this this discussion. Yeah. Whenever I have this opportunity, government already knows that the worst ASU will do, they will go on strike. So government already have ways of curbing the winds of ASU. I can assure you that what government is doing now, they are not looking at the issues. They are doing divide and rule to see how they can break, break the wings of ASU for ASU to call off the strike. And ASU will call off the strike, but the issues will still remain on the table. That is what will happen. And after like six, one, six months, one year, ASU will remobilize, they'll go on strike again, and government will find a way again to break the wings of ASU mm. for ASU to call off the strike. That is what has been happening. That's why I'm saying, as university lecturers, why not go into research to see how you can hold government to meet the, 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 the uh, agreements they have reached. Talking about the, the payment by PhD students, yeah, MSc and the like. Yeah, yeah. Before I was born, mm. they've been PhD students, they've been MSc students. Mm. Why the new introduction? Okay. How has the money been catered for? Mm. And of course, they've been external, external invigilators. Mm. How has the money been catered for to take care of those needs? That, that, th these are questions we, sh we should ask ourselves. And mind what? you, sir, uh, mind yeah. you, sir, it is not all schools that still charge students to bear the brunt of, 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 of all of these exp expenses. Okay, Some so other that. schools still not charge students. Once you pay your school fees, you, 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 you go through a normal academic pursuit till, till you graduate. Mm. As last president, I have information from virtually all our campuses. Some other schools don't charge. So, how did they do it? Okay. Well, let, 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 me that. let me ask that. Let me ask that. Let me ask that quickly yeah. before you give me 30 seconds. Yeah. You see, how do they, if you go to, there are many universities charge 60 something thousand naira now for returning students. Uniben charge 12,000. Many, some charge even close to 100,000 uh, 100,000, I mean. As 100,000 uh, as, uh, uh, that is charges. They don't call it tuition fees. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So, that is it. And then, I say Unibay Magnanimo is trying to spread. Otherwise, what they would have done is that this extra, the, that is the problem, uh, they added. How they have they been doing it is that in the past, subventions were given to the universities. And now, no more subventions. No subvention is coming. Okay. And then, well, it, they used to pay salaries of uh, staff school. Yeah, now they've time, withdrawn all yeah, of that. Because of time, gentlemen. Uh, because of time, time is always a factor on this program. Well, Professor, thank you so much thank for you joining and extending your time to your program. Yes. And uh, please, for our students, uh, please try as much as possible to maintain peace and uh, also maintain decorum too. Because I, I know that at this time there's you know, temptation here and there to uh, do one thing or the other. And please, for the striking lecturers, you must know that uh, there is need for us to talk. And also for the government to please, 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 please try as much as possible to make sure that you bring everybody to bear on this uh, issue. My name is Evans.